What's up? This is HG News here. So I'm here. Um, this video is going to be about the Koopa laws for the Children's Protection Act, which I had to update my uh, YouTube channel because, you know, I, it's there's a lot of content that are adult based and that has, you know, my intros have the lottery tickets and uh, everything else. So I set it as default for. Uh, not for kids because there's quite a bit of ch uh, videos that are adult paid. Um, you know. Yeah, I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'll read that letter. So, yeah, that is current right now. We're waiting for that thing, you know, the past and like. December 5th, we got a while until, not as long as you think, but they're changing in the first year, there's going to be a lot of changes, and um, I'm planning on also putting on the Patreon support page um, for my channel, of course, for uh, YouTube, basically, to do certain things, and I asked my mom yesterday, and she's going to have my dad look into the program for donations to receive money from my own viewers and they will be eventually worked in if it of course is approved and they allow me to say hey this is completely safe and you can do it as a disabled child as mentally handicapped um yeah i do like i would like to do like a windows vista or you know install of course uh you know things like that like mac os installing certain um, old hardware uh, that would be pretty nice but um, there's limitations in um, money there are limitations in permission from the parents since they're my legal guardians I have to obey them so those are plans that are possible uh, definitely having to buy better lighting and equipment the computer is somewhat usable but not fully it is old and it's aging and I'm hoping I get I sent my list to Santa and I asked for like a I said this earlier about I buy power so still blind is that thirteen hundred that thousand three hundred dollar uh computer with that you know side panel that's like a monitor and all um with good stars with my put the model number and all that so let's see you know come on in on that and see you know that's you know how you should do it for St. Nick to actually um, get the list you need. I did send one list and then I sent, I sent another one after that to the North Pole. You know, I just I printed out North Pole on the front and put my uh, return address on the left side, upper left side of the envelope. So I am having to um, buy gifts. Like every year, it's like $50 for. Maybe one family and then the same for the other and um I think both now do dirty Santa where you can steal things. If you don't like the gift you can steal from someone else or go to the pile. And um that's we do we've been doing that since at least five years ago with the Lanzini family and my mom's side, uh in Vigens, you know, Illinois. So it's like a little bit of a drive from here. But um it just you know I gotta start putting money in the next couple of weeks away for those uh, things to occur. Plus, the store one as well, where we buy we buy a couple of, you know, I buy one item or two for, you know, a person we draw. Um, that will be also be done whenever they got the chance to do it because, you know, I could pick myself, but uh, hopefully not. But they always will fix that regardless, so. Yeah, I got a couple gifts I got to think about. And, um, yeah. I got to put 150 away, you know. I've got enough money, maybe. I'm going to try to buy a thermos for the food. So, I guess I just cook some hot dogs and microwave it. just Or chili or something like that, or soup. I just microwave it and then just put it in there. And it'll last, like, some amount of hours. Like I used to have back in the day. But now they probably got better ones now. They can keep it cold or warm hot basically i already got one thermos to keep you know liquids so 
12 hours, I think, heated, and, like, codes 24 hours, which does fantastic. To save money last week while I was, like, you know, stretching the dollar, you know, just buying the big horse juices, you know, the big uh, two-liter, whatever it is, and pouring, you know, the full thing up into the thing, and that lasted, like, forever, and it made it through the day, basically. On saving money, because, you know, I do drink a lot more juice because of the cramping and the muscle use is quite high. And that last winter storm I had, I think, really got me almost cramped up. But um, I got through the storm. And, um, yeah, it was crazy. We still got snow. We got, still got ice that's black and real slick. So it was, like, really slick yesterday and today. Not as bad, I guess, you know, they've been they've been plowing those roads since yesterday or the day before. I guess we had that big storm that just went through here with all that ice and then the snow of three inches hit here. So, yeah, we've been having those trucks going around and just scraping the ice off the road. So, being cautious still. It's, this time in, it's the time of the season where snow hits. And ice hits as well. So, so we got now like another four months. Ma March is still a month for snow. And April is too. So I got to be watchful. And people, when you ever, if you're at a store like Kmart or you're at Lowe's or, you know, some kind of food place, most likely when uh, uh, snow hits, before it hits, our town gets busy. As well as other towns. Because, you know, they don't want to deal with the get out of this, you know, the weather. You know, they buy a lot of bread and milk and all that. So it's like, yeah, it's been busy when I've been working. So hopefully we don't get another one for a while. We don't have to deal with that right now. I don't, I don't think I see a forecast of that in the models for the weather yet. The current ones, the newer ones, the updated ones, basically. So I watch the weather every now and then. But uh, yeah, this summer was a lot of severe thunderstorms and very little tornadoes, if maybe just one in May, but that's about it. It was pretty much uh, stable and good. Besides, hey, all the lightning, uh, the flooding. I probably got back from Naples for that, no joke, in June. It's like the day off, the last day off, and it just starts flooding with all these things. And like the weather was horrible that day. And yeah, I was inside when this, all the weather, the radio weather, the radio kept going off. As well as the phone because it's a, a severe weather alert. And yeah, that was a crazy summer of severe thunderstorms popping up, going through us from the south. And sometimes we get from the north, depending. But it's too cold right now to have those. But it doesn't mean we won't have to because we had one in December. And I remember being out on the park lot and having the phone go off. It's like, okay, we had a tornado going through here in the, like, the last couple of days uh, before Christmas, that's like the 23rd, I think it's like 2015 or so, we had a tornado that was just going through the town, like hitting Ducoin. But most of the time they go around us, so it's like, yeah. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, comment, and like below. Push that video on the notification button below as well, so you get notified every time I release a video and you don't mess out. So yeah, the weather was bad this year, and where I'm, I'm hoping, like they're saying, for some part of it, where the weather will be normal, like above an average. There's a chance, but not guaranteed every time. But I will look at the weather every couple of days or so, or a day, you know, every 24 hours and check, hey, this is the way it should be for this a current day to work on cards, being out in the market line, like bring some boots, bring some, you know, rain gear. So, yeah, <laughs> I've been having the wear my boots, the waterproof ones I just bought in the last paycheck just to cover walking in the snow and I still am the very be very comfortable because it's still slick with the boots. So it's like, yeah, it's kinda it's a hassle. It's kinda like one of those moments when the ice is so thin but so thick where you can easily slide in my area. So yeah. The high school, I mean, the school are always canceled when we had those horrible snowstorms. Last year was a lot of snow days, so, like, yeah, my mom lost, lost a lot of days. I guess the, the system was constantly firing off. Uh, snowstorms, there was a few in the last few years that was really insane, including the current one that had a lot of sleep for an hour or two. 
in my face. I could barely even see it. So how awful fun I'm used to having these storms go through here. And the time I got to my last break, I think after that, it starts snowing. It's like, oh boy. 4 p.m. It starts snowing out here and starts piling, sticking like that. Oh, it won't stick. Oh, it did definitely stick to the ground that evening. So I was like, yeah. Now I'm just waiting for it to melt and go backwards to the other shoes I got. More comfortable ones. So thanks for watching.